Hey everyone, we're here at Babalucci, an Italian restaurant in Harlem that I like to frequent. We're gonna make some pizza, talk food, and have a sit down with Andrew Lopresto, the executive chef. I know a lot of you that have been keeping tabs on my blog have noticed that I like restaurants, I like good food, and uh, we're trying a new series here where I visit restaurants to get a behind the scenes look, and let me know what you think in the comments below. Otherwise, here we go. pieces before but um, I'm gonna leave it up to Andrew the, the master chef executive <laughs> chef here to show me how it's done but you, you have your dough you want to start with your, your dough obviously you want to start off with a round so luckily we got nice round dough today here I feel like a kid again you want to pick the dough up and try to stretch it so what I do is just toss it back and forth while rotating you guys getting this, this is good <laughs> how's he doing doing all right uh -oh. Uh, it doesn't look as nice as yours. <laughs> yours is a rustic, exactly. Yeah, rustic. Yours is the more rustic. Okay, we're gonna do two pizzas here. We're gonna do a pesto pizza, and for yours, we're gonna do a margarita pizza because you already got the look to it. Okay, perfect. For mine, it's gonna go in the oven, and it should cook in about 90 seconds. 90 seconds, that's fast. Yes, sir. How hot is this oven? Uh, right now, it's probably about 800. Between 750 and 800. Yeah, so for your pizza, take one spoon of tomato sauce and start in the center and slowly make your way to the edge while I cook this pizza. He's trusting me to do this on my own. He's not that far away though. Is that one spoonful? There you go. Yeah, one in a little, one in a touch. That's about a touch, right? There you go. I used to make those uh, those take-home pizzas where you buy the crust and you uh -huh. put the toppings on. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Back when I was younger. So you've done this before? Too. More or less. <laughs> now you're gonna put a little fresh mozzarella. See the pesto pizza is ready. Looks pretty good to me. Okay, now what we're gonna do is you're going to take the pizza and pull it onto the peel. Don't be shy about it, otherwise it won't work. Pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it. There you go. Try to put it right on that same spot where I put the pesto pizza. There you go. See, I've done this before. I'm excited. I had a career before uh, football. I think now you have a career after football. Possibly, yes. Well, I mean, I think you you picked the right career, probably. <laughs> what he's saying is not pizza. It's not pizza. <laughs> Very rustic margarita pizza. Very rustic. How do you? <laughs> well, taste it, and then. You know, hopefully it tastes better than it looks, but it should be all right. <laughs> that looks edible to me. But can you eat this? We won't tell anyone. That'll be my cheat meal for the week. So we just made pizza. You can probably guess which one is mine. But now uh, we get to have a taste test, and they're even kind enough to bring us over their short rib hash, so we'll be able to taste that as well. It's delicious. delicious. Just as you might have guessed. I think this is maybe the best pizza I've ever eaten. So I think I've tasted enough, and I've made a decision between the three entrees, the margarita pizza, the pesto pizza, and the short rib hash skillet. I'm gonna have to go with the pesto. You know, I think Andrew really eggs me out with this one. You know, I was going for the rustic look. Overall, the consistency of the, the crust and the, this, the taste and the flavors, pesto eggs me out, so. How did you get into the pizza making business? Uh, well, it basically has been passed down to me. My father, uh, when I was young, he opened up a pizzeria in Manhattan. Me and my father have uh, basically now worked together on a more of an even level. He comes in the morning, he does the dough. I do most of the... I well, guess, you're pretty busy back there. We, I do more, most of the artistic side of it, and my wife does the rest, which is basically, you know, how you're treated, you know, it's a real family business. It's very important to, to me and especially, you know, that when people come in here, that they're treated correctly. Why Babalucci? Where does the name come oh, from? Babalucci. Babalucci. Excuse me, I've been pronouncing it wrong this entire time. <laughs> Babalucci. Uh, Babalucci is a, a, a Sicilian uh, dish for snails. Okay. Uh, it's, it's, it's a one-way in dialect to say snails. Okay. But it also, you know, signifies that the pizza is fast, but you know, it takes 
time and you gotta you know you gotta be slow and steady to make sure everything else is correct. The pizza is fast, but the work that goes into creating everything here it takes a long took some time. Yeah, took some time and some effort. Oh yeah. That's awesome. It's here at Babalucci <laughs> with Andrew Lopresto uh, and his family affair of a business. Oh yeah. Thanks for having us. We Thank really you. appreciate it. All right. We just left Baba Lucci, had some great pizza, some great food, and uh, made a new friend and executive chef, Andrew Lepresto. Thanks for watching, and if you like what you saw, please give us a thumbs up, and if you'd like to see more, please subscribe. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.